Hello, uh, today is February 6th around 10.44 p.m. Um, I finished uh, daring this and I made some changes to do harmony to the last chorus a little bit, but then tomorrow I'm meeting with my arts instructor, so I wanted to get the next song started. So I actually analyzed the example song quite a bit. Um, it's a very interesting song. Uh, so this is uh, going to be the Tenacious Alien. There are no chords. So this is the first song that I'm not going to play a single chord. What ends up happening is the bass and the um, rhythm guitar plays two notes. And those two notes alternate. Um, and combination of those two forms actually creates the chord, very similar to actually the piano technique. And they play super fast. Uh, they play quarter notes, uh, sorry, um, 16 notes con constantly. So it kind of, very interesting without playing the uh, chord, it actually keeps the chord on the background kind of running. A very interesting uh, thought process. And also what it does is, the bass and the rhythm kind of jumps over each other. Uh, they don't maintain their octaves. Um, in the chord, they use inversions in second, first and second versions to move across each other. So I sat down, I had to come up with a, a completely new melody. And the melody changes actually in eight measures. Uh, so it's going to be a long chord progression. Um, but then I also try to uh, make sure I keep Again, the chord generally is the root and the third. Uh, it may go to the fifth sometimes, but it also crosses each other. They are not like seeming parallel, but crossing. So, and if you guys can see what I kind of came up with a diagram and, um, and I give it a shot. So this is the first time. I also laid the drums, um, very similar to the first song. So actually I only just wrote eight measures. Um, it's quite a bit to process, also it's an interesting, it's the, again I'm sticking to the C minor, it's the first time I'm writing on C minor, there are lots of sharps, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting exercise, it certainly sounds so much different than anything I have done, uh, I think one of the great things that these songs are doing is to truly expand the horizon of, about what is capable, so let's just take a quick listen. Um, I don't know where this thing is gonna lead to, but we'll see. So this is the first eight measures. <laughs> Interesting. I'm constantly changing it. There's, um, I'm not sustaining it for continuous two measures. Anyway, one more time. My bad. Good. Interestingly crossed. Let's see, it's just going to be interesting. I hope it will turn out to be a good song. At least I know it's completely different than the first two songs. So maybe uh, in the album, it will be some kind of a break. Uh, the first song was kind of this uh, mysterious, uh, not that heavy, more classical um, style on Phrygian uh, with the invisible teen. And then second one is actually quite heavy. Uh, with a lot of distortion and heavy rhythm, which is daring dissident. And this one, the tenacious sitting is going to be no rhythm, guitar, and uh, heavy bass, heavy um, bass and rhythm guitar, but um, again, very less distortion and uh, no chords whatsoever. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one. All right, see you guys there. Hello. Uh, it's February 8th, Wednesday, about 5.15 p.m. I was just um, trying to just play with the Tenacious Alien and try to come up with some kind of a 
phrasing i was not sure whether i will keep the rhythm as it is the main melody as it is is quite complex but i think i got something i'm not sure it's the first time i kind of came up with it so let's take a listen it's just the first part not the total so i gotta be quick here <laughs> It's the fifth, so the bass is playing the root, the rhythm guitar is playing the third, so starting the demo, uh, the solo with the fifth, and following the scale actually is quite nice, so it starts with the G, so it lands on the same note as the other two, so jump, that's nice, the rest is made up, but I think there's a band there. That's nice too. That's A sharp. Then requires F sharp to complete the um, rest. So that's nice. Kind of bringing it to a lower octave as the bass and the rhythm doing. So it's kind of giving a little dark feeling. Then again, following the note. So. same voicing in some kind of a manner but I'm not sure about that but I think there is something there let's see where this is going to end up hello uh, it's Thursday night February 9th uh, around 11 20 p.m. Um, I worked on the chorus part of the Tenacious Alien quite a bit I had to wipe out the board and then put the song and kind of map it out uh, I think I'm settled for the, um, I think I'm settled for the, um, main verse piece. Uh, chorus, I came up with something. Uh, I struggled quite a bit, actually. Uh, try to find how to distort, introduce the distortion guitar without taking over the bass. And also keep that nice rhythm on the background as well. So I decided to keep the rhythm guitar palm muted. Again, playing with the bass. Again, crossing over. But introducing a distortion with some kind of a off beat. And of course, changing the drum as well to increase kind of energy. And then drop it back to the verse. So let's take a listen. I'm not 100%. The, towards the end of the course, I like the end of the course when the guitar kind of comes back and lines up with the bass again. It's, it's a nice sound. But let's hear from the um, second, middle of the second verse. <laughs> first attempt let's see um, <clears throat> I have to work on the following verse what it is when the chorus settles course is gonna repeat itself quite a bit verse structure is also pretty much from the thing is now I have to vary the verse um, but I know how to vary it I guess I gotta either play with the rhythm uh, as well as change the direction of the guitar a little bit while keeping the bass same uh, kind of find Maybe two other alternative notes 
changing the octave or changing the direction. Uh, and then on the chorus, I'm not sure what else I can introduce to uh, put additional flavor to it. Maybe I'll put some kind of a weird keyboard sound or something. Anyhow, uh, that's it for the night. See you guys. Hello. Today's February 21st, Tuesday, about uh, 10 a.m. In about an hour, my guitar instructor art will be here. So um, I put the finishing touches to the Tenacious Alien uh, last night. Um, it's an okay position, and I like the I like the verse structures. I like the chorus and how it builds up. To keep this song again uh, three minutes. I had to continue to repeat the verse for the third time. Uh, so, and I wanted to do something new. I first tried two blues-like guitars to play on top of each other, but then I decided to move the second guitar to a distortion guitar, but keep the notes long, such that the blues guitar still uh, does the main articulation, main phrasing but almost like have a back um, kind of chorus uh, supporting sound uh, voice uh, for the for the main um, blues version. Then it's some little bit more, it's almost like using the distortion guitar as a keyboard. Um, I end up writing the interlude to, it's kind of okay. It's not like something that I really, really like, but uh, I think it will do similar, but some kind of a different too. Um, so maybe before I start, I thought that you'll start playing from the verse, but uh, maybe a quick look at the board may be interesting. Uh, as you may see over here, let's go to the back. Uh, yeah, you can see the structure. Oops, yep. Guess the structure of the song, the intros, verses, uh, as well as how the um, kind of chord progressions are happening across the main melody, um, chorus, interlude, so forth, so on. So, anyway, let's. Uh, I think I'm about to erase that board for the next song. So, let's listen to this one. Uh, I'm gonna start from the second verse. We are gonna do the interlude, and then uh, actually second verse, chorus, interlude, third verse, chorus, which then uh, it kind of dies from here. So let's go. <laughs> Kind of following the first verse, but more double stop and a lower or higher octave. Also double stops. Now two blues on the chorus. I like this part. Now second distortion is gonna come back also interlude. And okay. Now second distortion is gonna come as the background. Ten or almost most of it. Chorus. You can hear the distortion kind of going down.
song is just fading out and it's over so it's about 3 minutes 16 seconds not bad um, I mean unless my guitar instructor gives me some new ideas and I find a new source of inspiration this is where I'm gonna leave it I need to move on to the next song and start actually examining it um, anyhow so here's the latest third song of the second album heading to the fourth song take care